Hello, uh, my learners. How are you? How are you doing, my daughters? I wish that you are okay and fine. As I promised you, that I will uh, try to uh, each Friday prepare something for you as a revision. Okay, that can help you if I. Okay, so we start learners. We uh, move to the revision. So this is your school, okay, the Department of Math. The unit is trigonomeric function. Okay. The teacher is Mohamed Sultan Zwidi, class 12, semester 1, month September 2021. Question number one, in fact, is taken from the final exam, which is question number eight, uh, number seven. Okay. So this is the final exam. I'll just. Uh, okay. Question number seven. If y equal negative 4 plus cosec of theta, and theta is pi over 2. Then the value of y equal negative 5, or negative 3, or 3, or 5. Okay? So, let's do this equation. First of all, I will just write uh, y. I will write here, okay. y equal negative 4 plus, plus cosec. Of course, there is negative sign. Equal is equal sign. Okay, equal negative 4 plus cosec of the angle theta of the angle theta. What is the angle? The symbol of theta. Okay, this one. The angle theta. Okay. Then I should close the parentheses, which is and then what else then or where theta is equal to pi over 2 theta is equal to theta is equal to pi over 2 okay this is pi pi over 2 at the same time i'm solving that let's try to think of the question which is in fact in terms of degree, it will be equal to 90, equal to 90 degree, okay? Or you can convert, it will be pi over 2 multiply, I'll just make like that, copy, to convert this to degree, if you want, of course, multiply by, then 180 degree, 180 degree, this is 180 degree. Okay, there is the symbol of okay degree divided by pi. This is pi. Okay, now I convert pi over 2 in terms of degree. You can let's say cancel pi and pi, it will be 180 divided by 2. It will be 180 divided by 2. 180 this is 2 then up 180 degree divided by divided by by 2 okay so which is equal to 90 degree then this one equal 90 degree clear now I will just Instead of writing cosec of theta, I will write its reciprocal function. We know that we know that cosec of theta learners. I will try to make uh, colors. Oh, okay. In fact, is equal to copy this one. Enter. So I will write cosec of theta is one over. Is 1 over cosec of theta I will write it here cosec of theta equal 1 divided by 1 divided by sine of theta 1 divided by sine of my angle theta okay then just make substitution 
Okay, instead of writing y equal negative 4 plus sine of theta, write y equal negative 4 plus 1 over sine of theta. So I will just write this one. Then this gives learners y equal negative 4 plus 1 over sine of theta, which is also equal equal negative 4 plus 1 over sine of pi over 2 because pi of theta is pi over 2. You see this one? It's a given. Okay. This one from the beginning, theta is pi over 2. Then I will change this by pi over 2. Clear? Then you know that sine of sine of pi over 2 is 1. So this one gives negative 4 plus 1 over 1, negative 4 plus 1 divided by 1, which is equal to negative 4 plus 1, that is equal to negative 3. Okay, equal sign. Therefore, this one is negative 3. Why? Because negative 4 and plus 1 have different signs. Then I should subtract 1 from 4, then I put the sign of the largest number, which is negative. The answer is negative. Can you repeat what is the correct answer here, learners? Is that clear? So we can, let's say, insert something. Mm -hmm. Shape. I would see it if possible. So this one. This one, learners, is the correct answer. Clear? The next question, I'll make a copy, we'll use it again. So, question number two, we have, question number two. Okay. Question number two is this one. I will make this user into. Okay, then this one. Now, I will solve question number number two. Question number two, I will just insert a rectangle to write this is number two. Okay. Question two, this is two learns. So, two in fact is question number, number eight, which is if y equals 6x, 6 cosine of x plus 3 equals 0, then the value of x where x is more than 0 degree and less than 360 degree are 60 degree or 240 or 120, 240, 60, 300 degree, then 120, 300 degree. Okay, let's come back. So this is the question. I will just write here what? y equal 6 cosine of x plus 3 should be equal to 0. Then I will raise the rest. No need. Okay, we told that 6 cos of x plus 3 equal 0. Then I should subtract 4 from both sides. Okay because this is plus 3, to transfer this 3 on the right hand side, what will happen exactly? So, it will be negative 3. This one learns, plus 3 when it will transfer there, it will be negative 3. Clear? Therefore, I will use symbols. Okay. to operators so here we don't have okay I will try to find if they are here or not okay this one so this one implies learners the 6 cosine 
of x equal negative 3 then this is also implied that cosine of x is equal to negative 3 divided by 6 which is equal to negative 1 divided by 2 clear what is the angle inside the cosine function give us negative give us negative half so if you are going to go back for example to the unit circle that has or summarizes let's say the, all the special angles this is my unit circle you see that in fact here cosine of cosine of 60 degree which is pi over 3 is 1 over 2 and here cosine of 330 degree is 1 over 2 cosine in the first quadrant and the fourth quadrant is positive so we will cancel the first and the fourth because now in the question cosine is negative so this is 60 degree plus 60 degree gives 120 or make 120 minus 60 degree so give us 120 cosine of 120 learners is negative 1 over 2 so this one let's say represent the first solution the second solution is cosine of 240 is negative 1 over 2 you see this one I will try to make a rose if it is possible okay mm -hmm home first I will go to home then I will make insertion what is um, I don't have what pictures okay no problem so this is cosine of negative uh, cosine of 120 is negative half means I will consider this angle and this angle okay I will just go back to the question and write 120 and 240 120 so we can say that which is negative is negative the ratio is negative so think of quadrant 2 and 3 quadrant 1 the first angle x equal x equal 180 degree minus 60 degree which is 120 degree the second one x should be equal to we told 60 degree plus 180 because in the fourth quadrant so or 180 plus 60 gives us 240 degree so in fact learners we have uh, I will use this one uh, in fact we have two angles to solution and this angle is between 0 and 360 if you add now 2 pi or 360 it will be 480 it will be more than 360 and also this one it will be let's say uh, 600 will be more so we just accept 120 degree and what else and and 240 degree clear why because cosine is positive in the second quadrant and in the third is negative in the third quadrant and in the second quadrant but i'm going to write this as in terms of degree i will insert a symbol so degree degree this one degree degree or is it this one yes okay and this is also copy and paste Sorry. okay so we have which one uh, the correct answer here is it 60 no cosine of 60 is half cosine of 240 is negative 1 over 2 then cosine of 60 is half cosine of 300 is half cosine of 120 is negative 1 over 2 cosine of 300 is half so but here, so look here, cosine of 120 is negative 1 over 2. Cosine of, let's say, 240 is negative 1 over 2. So, therefore, the solution is, is what learns is that, is small c. Okay, this one is the correct answer.
Okay, the next question. Here we have prove that I will use this learn so that I can use it after. Okay, uh, we have six squared minus one divided by six squared. Is it tangent squared or sine squared or cosine squared or cotangent squared? In this case, you are going to use the reciprocal function of sec, which is cosine. Then you are going to use the identities that you already applied on the classroom or you know. Okay. I will just uh, write this here. I hope so that I will have space. Oh no, make like that. Okay, I will insert a new, a new, 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 new shape. This is first it's question number three. Okay, question three. Then I will make like that copy. I will paste it here. Where can I let's say answer to this question? Clear? Okay. This question learners is in fact uh, taken from the final exam, which is uh, question nine. Six square minus one over six square. Is it tangent square or sine square or cosine square or cotangent square? Okay. We complete. We have here. I will insert an equation, or I will use an uh, previous example so that uh, it's easy for me okay then I will come as here learners I will write this here I will copy this here hmm it happened not there here Mr. Moore. okay okay now I will write between parentheses sex square sex square I will write here what? Sec, sec square of what? Of x. Or without parentheses, no problem. Then minus minus 1. Then I will close and I delete this. Divided by sec square of x. Okay. Sec square of x. So. This one, I'll just write it as sex square, in fact, is what learners, you know that, you know that, I'll just extend this, give me time, maybe, or I will make enter to all the questions, so that you can see, okay, okay, I will stop here, now it comes down. Now we we'll extend this rectangle where the answer can be written. Okay, or what you have, what you know about the relation about tangent and secant. I'll just, or we have tangent square. I will write, okay, I will write sec. Then I will change to, okay. I will make one plus tangent square of x is equal to what is always sorry is always equal sec square okay i will use this fact then sec square minus one you can see therefore therefore sec square minus one Six square minus one. Therefore, we have six square minus one is equal to tangent square. I'll just write here tangent square. And then I will erase this. Okay. Then instead of write six square minus one, I will write tangent square. So this one is equal to. Copy, then control, control, okay. Here we have this one equal, equal what learners? Equal tangent square, equal tangent. I have a problem in my laptop. 
ان شاء الله يقدرك على الامور هيك اوكي اعتقد هيك اوكي وتولد بعد تانجنت سكوير تان سكوير اوف اكس ديفايدد باي سيك سكوير كلير اور اون ساو بات سيك سكوير از وات ليرنز is 1 over is 1 over uh, cosine I'll just write this 6 square equal equal then I'll make copy for this equal what equal with all tangent square over six square is tangent square over six square is what is one over cosine is one divided by cosine cosine square okay of x division I will make the next division it's better so It will be here one, then here cosine. Cosine square will use this one. I will cut it immediately. Okay, cut. It will be okay. We told that one divided by one divided by. One divided by cos square by cos square. So this is two. So this is cos of x, of course. Okay. Or tangent square is what is sine and cosine, isn't it? So this one I will write again. Copy. I will make here enter equal. Equal what? Tangent square will change as this, as sine over cosine. Sorry. Really, my laptop is too. It's too old. It's too old. But I'll try to work with it. Okay. So we told I will erase this one. Okay, we told I will make fraction. I will make sine square over sine square over cosine square. This is sine square, sine of x, then x square divided by cosine of x square. Cos x, then I should square this number. What do you think here, learners? Here, cosec, cosec in the numerator, in the denominator of the first fraction, and cosec of in the denominator of the second fraction. So I will just simplify cosec cos by cos. So the answer will be sine squared divided by one, which is equal equal sine square divided by one. Okay. Sine square, I'll change this one. Okay. Copy. All right, we'll cancel, cancel. Then I will write here sine square. Sine of x square. Divided by one, divided of course by one, okay, because cosine square in the denominator of the first fraction and the denominator of the second quotient will be cancelled out, it will be one here. So the last answer is the is equal to sine square. I thought now it's clear for you.
So this is its part of the revision. It will be equal to sine square. I will insert an equation. Okay. Then I will write sine square. Sine of x square. Clear? This is the correct answer, ladies. So, there is also another method you can use. You can use like that. 6 squared divided by 6 squared is 1. Okay, I will just I use another method. Method number 2. Copy. This is first method. First first method now we move to second method okay I will do it here second second method so control paste so this one equal what learners six square over six square is what minus I'll just write uh, 1 over 6 square did I write 1 yes then minus 1 over minus 1 over 6 square minus 1 okay and then this one is 6 square is 6 square is sec of x then this is square okay but 1 minus 1 over 6 square it will be 1 minus cosine square this one equal equal 1 minus what minus sine square minus cosine square I will use this one it is written down I will use the formula minus minus cos square minus cos of x square. You know that the first identity of trigonometric function is cosine square plus sine square is always equal to one. So this one should be equal to sine square. Here, copy. This one equal equal sine square. This is the second method. There is a third method if you want. Okay. We can use let's say we use tangent. We can use cotangent to find this one. So thank you for listening. Okay, now we move to the next question.